This is Kevin with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to go over how to do redirects in Shopify. If you're migrating an old site uh, to Shopify and, and during that migration a lot of times you'll have broken links and what you want to do is go into the online store section of your site and then choose navigation. And when you go to navigation you're going to see a place called URL redirects at the very top in the upper right hand corner. So all you do is click on that and then you can go in and you can create a redirect. So if you know the current page that is having the 404, which will be generated within Google um, Search Console, which is formerly Google Webmaster Tools, uh, you can go in and check your 404s in Google and then you can redirect to the new page here. So all you do is put in the forward slash uh, let's just look at an example here of one of the redirects. So the old URL that was getting a 404 was this right here. And then when we made the redirect, a lot of times when you do a legacy site, it's going to end in HTML. So in Shopify, when we make a page, it will be um, forward slash instead of ratings, it's going to be forward slash pages ratings. So all we did to do that was we put in the old URL here and then we went to the page that we wanted which was the ratings page and we just went to this ratings page and we copied that entire URL or we can just copy the new part forward slash pages ratings and then we just pasted that in there and we hit a URL redirect so we can put the whole page or we can just put that part of the page like this and then you just add that redirect. Now I've already created one but you just hit the button that adds redirect. So these were manually created redirects but you can also go in and you can create redirects uh, using an app. So this is a very useful app right here and it's called uh, Redirectify. So using an app is a good way to do redirects in bulk. <clears throat> and this particular one integrates with Google Search Console which um, it will automatically produce those so you don't have to find a 404 it will show you your 404s. Uh, you can also download those from Google Search Console but what you want to do is you want to go in and these are ones that are 404s so if we want to go in and find one uh, it will usually show a recommendation, especially on the main pages. So let's just go into one uh, where we know we, where we want to redirect it from. So, I mean, this one right here is uh, the category for Macs. So we'll probably go in and it's going to give us these uh, particular pages for Mac ratings guides. And all we need to do is go in and I think redirecting it to the collection which is like a category and uh, many other e-commerce platforms. This is probably the best one. So all we do is hit fix and next and then we're going to get recommendations for all the URLs. So since this is a product, what we want to go is probably just go to this one under ratings packages and just go and do this to all of our products and people can find the specific product they're looking for. So if you know the specific product, you can redirect it to the uh, product page. But all we're going to do is, if we don't like the recommendation, which is a search query, we can go in and we can paste uh, this collection, which is uh, all the collections. So we just hit fix and next. Then you just go through your URLs. If you see one you're not sure about, you can recreate a page if it doesn't exist anymore under pages and that will give you somewhere to redirect it to. So this is an easy way to go in and do your redirects and you can just choose whatever looks like the best. So here's a good example. Uh, this is kind of, all you have to do is look for the specific product. So this is Towable Guide for 2016. You can kind of see in here, it gets some special characters inserted into the URL. But this is the Mac Guide. This one is where the Mac Ratings Guides are. Let's see, we can just sort by Mac or we can just look Windows, Windows, Mac, Mac. So it's going to be this one, Towables, I take that back, it's this one right here. So we simply copy this and I think that was one of the suggestions here. 
this was the one right here and we can fix that so that's all you have to do if you're using this redirectify app and there's a number of different apps uh, that do this but I like this because it creates um, recommended suggestions so you don't have to go and copy and paste all those URLs so if you have more questions about it you can check out pinehurstwebsites.com uh, and I'm always putting up new Shopify tutorials uh, for different things especially if you're moving a legacy site uh, from one platform over to Shopify or if you're moving from any other platform over to Shopify usually the URLs are going to be different so it's important to do redirects so that you don't lose the page rankings that you have and you will have time to do those redirects so you can actually do it live but you do want your customers uh, when they're clicking on those links not to end up hitting a 404 if possible so you want to go through and do your redirects as quickly as possible thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst websites you can click the link in the description of this video and it will take you to Pinehurst websites tutorials